Hi, I'm Nancy Soleri, and this is Against All Odds. Today we're going to talk about relationships. Now, I know some people love the topic and some people don't. Some relationships are rocky and others are blissful. And then there's everybody in between, and I've been that everybody in between, trust me. But here's the thing, you know, there's going to be ups and downs in relationships, and it can be when you're dating someone, when you're married to someone, it can be your business partner. You know, I've experienced in my own life having, you know, challenges related to my vision where I didn't feel like I was supported. For example, one of my ex-boyfriends, I would ask him for rides because obviously I couldn't drive and no one wanted me to drive in the streets, obviously, but I would ask him for rides and he would always be really grumpy. He, he wouldn't offer and then when I did ask, he would be like, oh, okay, you know, and it made me feel really bad. Well, I tried to con talk to him and communicate about, you know, what I needed from him and you know, that, gosh, if I could drive myself, I would. And that's pretty much all you can do. All you can do in a relationship is communicate how you feel, what you need from that person. And that's all you can do. Eventually, you know, he continued to be grumpy. And I needed to do what I needed to do for me, which was to eventually leave that relationship. I then went on to date a great guy who holds my hand, supports me every step of the way. He's not in front of me, he's not behind me, he stands beside me through every obstacle, every challenge, and every success. We celebrate our wins together. Now, you may say, well, that's great, Nancy, but I, you know, I'm still looking for that perfect person, and I'm dating people, and I'm not finding the right person. I get that. you got to kiss a lot of frogs to find your prince. Remember that. But he is out there. And I want to share with you that when you're dating people, you want to be really vulnerable. You want to let people in. Because that's what people love. They love to date people that they really get, that they that, you know, let them know, you know what their dreams are, what their fears are. It may sound a little you know, waffly at the first date. I wouldn't necessarily bring it out on the first date, but just know that you've got to trust people. You've got to be willing to let them into your world. Because at that point, now you're going to a different playing field. You're not just a date, but you're somebody who has confided in them. You're someone who trusts them. And then you're really able to take that relationship to the next level. Now, let's say you're in a relationship, and it's good. It's really good, in fact. But maybe, you know, from time to time, you don't see eye to eye. Well, that's just life. And, you know, we kind of have to deal with the ups and downs, the roller coaster of life. And, again, it goes back to communicating. So just know that, you know, even if somebody doesn't exactly get your point of view when you're trying to explain it to them, Try to find some way to see how, see how they're seeing your dilemma. Because they might see your obstacle differently than you do. They might not be as attached to it as you are. So share that with them. And then you might see that they will eventually shift. But you can't, you can't assume that people are mind readers. You have to invite them in, be vulnerable, explain what's going on. And again, such as in my experience, if they don't support you, then you really got to consider whether or not that is the best relationship for you. And for all of you who are in business relationships, well, that's a partnership all on its own. It's kind of like a marriage. Again, it's all about trust, and it's all about you know exchanging the wins and the challenges, and being very authentic with you know where you are. If you're growing personally. Try to take that business partner on that personal growth with you. Because you might find that one year your mindset is really big on, you know, monetizing your business. But then the next year, all of a sudden you're more in a more spiritual place and you're wanting to give in a different form. Well, you can't just switch on your business partners like that. You have to communicate and take them on the journey with you. And I'll say that's actually for everybody's relationships. It's all about the journey. It's all about supporting each other. So if you have any questions, if you would like me to you know, discuss maybe your mm -hmm. challenge or you know, give you some feedback personally through email, feel free to reach out to me at nancy at livingfullout.com. I'm here for you, and in following episodes, we're going to be really getting into the nitty-gritty of relationships in, in more deeper. So I look forward to seeing you on the next episode. Have a great day.